Hi, Mama. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you know my channel, hi Makamsha. So in this video, we got the title already today in my life with two cute dogs, and um, you guys know that I have more. But um, I adopted another cutesy baby. Look at how cute she is, man! Like oh my god, such a cutie baby. Uh, just kidding. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't adopt her. I really, 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 really wish I did. I could basically, but um, unfortunately, I don't think I can because I already have Moon, and it's like a lot of work already. But then um, this dog, dude. Like I really, I can't tell you the bond I have with this dog because the way she just came and sat in my lap. She's like she adopted me, and she's like, okay, I'm yours now. You need to protect me. So and she's been so sweet, so calm, so nice, so cuddly. I mean, I'm so attached to it now. I really, really want to keep her. Like, I can't explain the bond I or like the things I'm feeling for this dog. But um, Moon and I and she are also actually getting along really well. Quick story before I go for a walk about how I found her. Actually, so um, I don't think I've ever shared this before. But basically, I I feed my uh, stray dogs in my colony like every night. Okay, and so I know all the dogs which are there in my colony. And I was just like randomly driving around giving food that day, and I saw these children playing with this one puppy. And I thought it's some puppy from the you know colony only. But when I went up close and I saw, I, I know that I've not seen this puppy ever in my colony. So somebody apparently came and dropped her off here. So I don't know if they uh, adopted her and then abandoned her. I don't know what the seen is but she was there and she was very scared she was running behind the kids only and the kids wanted to take her but none of their parents allowed at least for two days until you know i get the, her a home and um, that day like luckily i called my mom and she agreed me for me to get a puppy home so i got her because like literally i gave her food and water because obviously she was stray she was hungry and all so the minute i gave her food and water she was not leaving me she latched on herself onto my leg and she was not letting me go she was so sweet and she's so scared because like obviously she's such a baby and she does not have her mother or her litter mates so it's like it'd be really scary especially because the other dogs might attack her and stuff and if i left her that night probably she would have got attacked i don't know what would have happened so i just sat down with her for like a couple of minutes because i just wanted to see like you know if she's okay and stuff like that and the minute i sat down like she just came and sat in my lap and she was not leaving i'll put a picture right here like the minute she sat on my lap it was like i i I can't explain the feeling. I was so overwhelming. I was telling all my friends as well. Like I can't explain that feeling. Like even if I tell you vocally, I don't think I can. Like but basically in words, I don't think I can put it so well. It's literally like she came to me, she sat on me, and she's like, "Okay, now I'm yours. You protect me. Like you know, I'm your thing. You're my. You're. I'm your responsibility." So she like adopted me. It was such a. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It was such a surreal feeling. So I got her home and. Um, Yeah, I took her to the vet and all because she's obviously she's stinking so bad. So I thought because she's on the street, but I gave her a bath and she's still stinking. So it's because of a fungal infection apparently. Okay, so this was the night I got her home and like I immediately took her to the bathroom, gave her a bath. I had this separating panel, so I put that, put her in the blanket because she was shivering, and I also did not want Moon to meet her without knowing that she's actually okay. And I not basically I did not want it to contagious if she's sick or something. And this was the next morning. This is the, such an adorable photo of her. I absolutely love it. Literally have so many photos of her in like just like one week that I I don't have of Moon in like even two or three months. Initially, after I got him, it's so many photos and videos I have. I even took her to like a party which I had because I could not leave her, and she was such a doll. She was just sleeping the entire time, and she was only sleeping on me. Yeah, she already became a party girl. Nice socialization is happening. I took her on walks, took her to the vet. In the vet one, that is so cute. That photo, she was literally sleeping inside my jacket. She went and hid inside, and she did the same thing in the party as well. So, so cute. And she's just been eating constantly since the time she came because probably problem she did not eat or sleep well for like you know how much ever time sleeping also she sleep only on me she wants to see, feel so safe while sleeping if you put her down she won't sleep so Moon was so contradictory to it so though Moon is an indie he was not a stray. <laughs> 
ओए सच टाइनी वन बट सो वोकल हां ओए हां so yeah that's a quick story of how i found her i'm going to foster her until i find her a home i actually did find her a home uh, so let's see like i think my friend only staking which is like great because this dog do like i really 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 wish i can keep her because she's such a sweetheart and i've got so attached to her i'm telling you the moment she adopted me she's like she wants to be lifted so the moment she just came to me I was like okay bro like I'm going to take care of you so I really wish I could keep her uh but like Moon is not even an adult yet and he's not properly trained and having two dogs is like a lot of lot of lot of work and I don't think I can afford the so much like time and attention for them and I won't do justice for both of them if I do justice for both of them I won't be justice able to do justice for my work and all so Maybe future some other day I find another dog like this, but it's a moment for me. I can't explain how, but anyways, let's go on a walk now. Her eyes are so magical, like cute, yeah, cutie, 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 cutie. This is how she sat on me on that day also. Good girl, sit. Good girl, look at her eyes, dude. They're like magical. Look at me. Hi, yo, yo, yo. Look at her adorable little, little, little face, your mo. Kitty pie. I had some kids' clothes in my house, so I put one on her. No, moon. Back off. Sit. Good boy. Lady, I'm good person. Done. Hi, Chichu. Good job. Nigga, I'm on good boy. Ah, ah, ah. Baby, sit. Yes. Ah, ah, sit. Koti, then get Koti. Koti. My mom thinks her name is Koti. She looks like a monkey because Moon, gentle. Moon is such a wild dog. Such a baby. She's getting crumpled because of me. They become buddies. Buddy boy. Hello, my cutie too, girl. Cutie Bob. All day she wants to sit in my lap like this only. I'm sitting and working, and she came running, running, and she stands here, and then she'll come and sit on my lap. She won't sit there. She won't sleep there. She won't sleep anywhere. She just wants to sleep on my lap. This is so new for me, but because Moon was never like this, so she has like max separation anxiety, <laughs> and she's like, I need to sleep on my mommy, Mumu. Yeah. Hi, can you Mali? Hi, she's such a cutie. See, I sprayed on her ear because she has like so much dandruff. Basically, she has some fungal infection. When I found her, she was like stinking so bad. I thought maybe because she's on the street, she's uh, stinking. So I got her home. I gave her a bath, but she was still stink stinking so badly. She was stinking like how Moon was when he got Paro. So I was scared like if this puppy is sick. and with paro and like that's the reason people are abandoning her so i took her to the vet and then he said no no it's just fungal infection so that's the reason she was stinking she, it's a lot better now i don't know maybe i just got used to the smell but it's better like i've given we've been giving her medication we got her like deworm vaccinated everything so look at this baby such a cutie female dogs are the best bro like i don't know if it's a female thing or a stray thing but she's so like you know need <laughs> and kya calm and like you know look at her she doesn't like to go out also doesn't like to do anything my cutie pie my cutie mama lu she's so tiny tiny baby she's been doing this for the past how many hour days i got her She'll come sit like this, and then I feel like I don't want to work. I just want to sit like this with her. Wherever I go, she'll come sit like this. Tagar kon, tagar kon, idhar, idhar tagar kon. Yes, good boy.
every day during sunset like if there's like you know proper lighting around 5 o'clock i get this rainbow on my bed which is so cute and these two kids are playing on the bed also now this is not my bed at this point kala moon moonya 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 kanu moonya ma sweet corn i don't think looked ever this aesthetic because of the sun i have to put the two dogs away this little one can't get on the bed yet so it's fine but i have to keep moon away if i have to eat this stuff Okay, finished up some work. I did not have any filming to do today. It was just some editing work which I mean I had to do, but I just chose not to do. Uh but I got the puppy on work. I forget that Moon has learned so many things. I didn't teach her. And I'm like why is she not doing it? Come Babu, come. Come. I got her on a quick Walk. I can't take her out, out while I take Moon because she's like not completely vaccinated. And Moon got Paru, and I'm not risking it with this uh, lady. So I'm just like making her roam inside my building only, like evening at least once. She doesn't know how to walk on a leash yet. So when I put a, a leash on her, she's like not even walking. So I'm just like. making her walk like this only very she's so tiny she gets lost like she's so different than moon it's so different to see how like personalities are so different like with moon moon was like moon is a super enthusiast a curious to learn kind of dog so like even from like the first week only i could teach him so many things because like you know he used to like do it actively when we go out also she be so excited like so like you know i want to go i do not have like any major like you know drive issues with him but she's like really sensitive it probably like because she was on the roads i don't know what history she has so like she's like very shy very like you know um not so like excited or like you know things to learn or like run around and stuff if i leave moon i should leave here he used to do zoomies like crazy but she's literally just like walking beside me like a papa and she's like so scared and all so anyways a lot of work for her to desensitize to things because god knows what she like endured on the road she she was not scared of moon actually but i just met a husky right here in my apartment so the husky knows me and he came running up to me and she got so scared so we'll have to see how i'm becoming a dog training channel to telling tips and all okay doggy number 2 moon doggy number 2 post walk scenes one day one year ఫుడ్ food i have a subscription which comes every day but this little dog ate moon's food today so i have no food for moon also and um, so i'm just like you know making some rice and like curd and vegetables for both of them and in the night they just keep doing this it's like a, more than it's like my life it's their routine day in my life of my two dogs <laughs> moon is such a big boy moon i separated both of them <laughs> so they want to be together they've been playing constantly and i just separated them and look at them hey <laughs> 